Today, flying cars are exactly what cars were in the 1900s, massively in the prototyping and testing stage. While flying cars may sound as if they belong to science fiction, technology seems to have brought them closer to reality, potentially helping to create a faster, cheaper, cleaner, safer, and more integrated transportation system. Numerous flying car companies are trying to pave their way into the flying car industry. In this video, we are going to discuss luxury flying cars, air cabs for passengers, and cargo. The video is going to be amazing, so make sure you stick to the end. Before starting the video, be sure to smash the like button and subscribe to never miss out on any of our videos. Archer Aviation Archer Aviation has a very distinct motive of bringing sustainable air mobility to the world. Not only is it making its flying aircraft a luxury for the super rich out there, but also a service that is affordable to the masses. Archer claims that its unique design will also offer passengers increased safety while producing minimal noise compared to helicopters. In just two rounds of fundraising, Archer has amassed $912.7 million, which leaves it a scope of gaining much more in the upcoming rounds. Mark Lore, the CEO of Walmart e-commerce, is a major investor in Archer. The startup is confident about its capital needs. As demonstrated, its most recent flying aircraft prototype, Maker, which is a full-scale EVTOL, is able to hover at the speed of up to 150 miles per hour. Archer's maker is still in the process of gaining FAA certification to acquire the highest levels of safety. The prototype maker has an unparalleled lightweight composite build structure. Its airframe is manufactured using excessively lightweight carbon fiber composites as per pre-known manufacturing processes. Designed to provide strength, durability, and rigidity, it can work through the expected amount of load. Next is its redundant avionics and redundant altitude sensors. In addition to that, there are also redundant GNSS, inertial navigation, and AGL sensors providing accurate and reliable information to the pilot, enriching the flying experience with high levels of safety and eliminating all the possible causes of failure. Other similar structural aspects, such as air data system, weight on wheel or wow sensors, and downward facing cameras as well, work in harmony for seamless movements. One of the extremely imminent aspects of the Maker's architecture is its inline Meru battery system. Archer's lithium ion based Meru battery system is known for delivering a highly optimal balance between high power and high energy for maximum needed range. Xpeng Flying Car. Chinese electric vehicle manufacturer Xpeng has released footage of the maiden voyage of its groundbreaking EVTOL, a car that can drive on roads and navigate through the airwaves, propelled by a set of four helicopter-style rotors. This is not the first VTOL the world has seen, but while most prototype VTOL cars, VTOL stands for Vertical Takeoff and Landing, tend to more closely resemble smaller planes with more robust wheels, like this prototype VTOL from Volkswagen, this vehicle truly looks like a car on propellers. The EVTOL was designed by the company's Urbane Air Mobility, or UAM division, Aero HT, and is fitted with a distributed multi-rotor configuration that lifts it, seemingly effortlessly, off the ground and the European Aviation Safety Agency, or EASA, is currently the only aviation regulator worldwide to have introduced a regulatory framework for VTOL-capable aircraft. Thus far, regulatory hesitancy poses a big obstacle to VTOL flight in China. Zapata's New Jet Racer Already three years ago, Frankie Zapata had impressed the whole world when he attempted to cross the English Channel in the air on his homemade hoverboard and jetpack. Now, the French inventor has unveiled Jet Racer, a new high-speed personal vertical takeoff and landing aircraft with no lifting surface. The Jet Racer flying car is built on a light and modular chassis, allowing it to meet multiple needs, both civil and military, as well as being remotely controlled, the company says. All critical systems are architected to provide an extremely high level of redundancy and safety, propulsion, control, power supply, etc. The aircraft is powered by a 10 micro turbojet engines, which can still fly in case it loses two of them. It is a single seater with a maximum carrying capacity of 200 kilograms or 440 pounds. 
It can reach altitudes of 3,000 meters or 9,842 feet and fly at a top speed of 250 kilometers per hour or 155 miles per hour. The jet racer boasts of being able to withstand strong, turbulent winds. Zapata is kicking off a flight test campaign to the United States, and 25 lucky folks will have the opportunity to take the jet racer for a spin. Demand for aero cabs grows. Air taxis may not be transporting any passengers just yet, but a new report predicts that a global market will grow to just over $2.3 billion by 2027, representing a 19.6% compound annual growth rate over the next five years. According to the 143-page report, which was conducted by the research and consulting firm Imark Group and published by Research and Markets, the global air taxi market was valued at $817.5 million in 2021. The report forecasts that rising demand for more efficient transportation options, combined with increasing congestion of road vehicles and environmental concerns, will spur industry growth in the coming year. Rather than focusing on EVTOL aircraft, the most prominent design among air taxi developers, the report defines an air taxi as any lightweight, energy-saving, and robust commercial airplane designed to travel shorter distances with operational capabilities that allow for takeoff and landing on shorter runways. Suzuki partners with SkyDrive to develop flying cars. Japan is one of several high-tech markets that are making significant ground toward the development of flying cars. A tech company from Japan called SkyDrive has partnered with Suzuki to develop the country's first electric vehicle takeoff and landing, or EVTOL, transport. SkyDrive has received approval for commercial manufacturing of the vehicle from the Japanese government. The tech company said that Suzuki will aid in the development of future flying car technology. Furthermore, the Japan Civil Aviation Bureau, or JCAB, of the Ministry of Land, Infrastructure, Transport, and Tourism, or MLIT, has granted base-type certification to the manufacturer, which implies that the flying car is closer to commercial production. The company plans to begin the production of its flying car for flight demonstrations soon. SkyDrive projects that the taxi service kick off by 2025, as the certification process could take another two years. Joby Aviation The United States Department of Defense is deepening its relationship with Electric Vertical Takeoff and Landing, or EVTOL, aircraft company Joby Aviation. Joby said Wednesday that it is expanding its existing contract with the U.S. Air Force's Agility Prime Program, which is an initiative that the U.S. Air Force launched in April of 2020 to test, experiment, and generally accelerate the development of EVTOL for cross-commercial and military use. The contract's potential value increased by more than $45 million. Its total potential value is now more than $75 million following the recent expansion. The company expects to launch its EVTOL in 2024, following type certification with the Federal Aviation Administration. Joby's team has also applied formally for concurrent validation of its FAA type certification in the UK. Joby's defense partnerships provide the company with access to testing facilities and offset some research and development costs. The expanded contract with the DOD also offers an early operational experience for government customers. Joby became the first company developing an EVTOL aircraft to receive military airworthiness approval for its prototype vehicle in December 2020. The EVTOL developer also performed flight tests in collaboration with NASA in September 2021 to collect data on vehicle performance and noise levels. The UK Jet Zero Strategy The UK government published its so-called Jet Zero Strategy, outlining how the country plans to decarbonize what is seen as one of the fastest-growing sources of greenhouse gas emissions during the climate crisis. Speaking at a launch event at Britain's Farnborough International Air Show, UK Transport Minister Grant Shapps laid out the government's approach to reaching net zero aviation emissions by the middle of the century. His comments came as Britain reported its hottest day on record on the second day of an extreme heat wave. Temperatures climbed to a high of 40.2 degrees Celsius or 104.4 degrees Fahrenheit in southern England, according to provisional data from the Met Office. Indeed, the UK's Met Office has said extreme temperatures in the country have been made 10 times more likely by climate change. 
the UK's Jet Zero strategy, which aims to decarbonize the aviation sector while allowing people to keep flying, seeks to implement a pathway that should mean emissions never again reach the pre-pandemic levels of 2019. Among some of its key policies, the UK aims to make domestic aviation and airports net zero by 2040, respectively, and mandate that at least 10% of sustainable aviation fuels be blended into traditional aviation fuels by 2030. Let us know your opinion in the comments section below. This was all for today. Hope you liked the video. Do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Stay safe and we will be back soon with another video.